God, did you see that? Gosh, it's a giant one. Oh, guys, if you like top watering, you're gonna wanna stick around. This is the smallest one so far. Choked it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys, we're back. Man, if you missed last week, uh, it was just, it was epic. Tons of top water bites. Make sure you go check that out. We made some moves and it was like instant. First cast, caught a giant one, and it was like back to back to back. It was insane. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Man, we've had some epic, nasty storms this week. We got another one coming. We're still on the spot from last week. We're gonna try a bunch of different other baits and, uh, and test them out, see if we can't catch some more giants here. This is, this is kind of a place where I was like, you know, dream to come in here. You know, I, I mean, being a 10 year old kid, hearing about Stick Marsh and Farm 13, you know, it was just like, gosh, one day I wanna go. And I got, you know, got to come here when I was like 13 or so. Oh my gosh. You see that? He just came up and slurped it. Oh gosh, he's, I don't know how big he is. He's really head shaking. Oh my gosh, it's a giant one. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> Got him on the old spin rocket. Oh, come on, stay out of that cable. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so cool. That's a gi giant there. <laughs> come here. Got him. Oh man, that was so awesome there. Slow down a little bit. Went to the spin rocket. Gosh, look at that thing. Oh, that's so awesome. He came up and just slurped that thing. This is by far my favorite uh, prop bait I've ever thrown. And it's it's a bait that gets overlooked by a lot of guys. There's, there's so many good prop baits out there, but this by far is my favorite one. Man, you know, it's, it's so unreal. You know, I remember dreaming I come to this place when I was nine, 10 years old, you know, Farm 13, Stick Marsh. It was, it was the place to be. Everybody always talked about it. And I finally got to come here when I was 13. We came down here and man, we sat in this exact spot and, and we caught fish and it's just so unreal. 20 something years later, I'm in the same exact spot. Man, I'm, I get, I'm getting chills because it's just like so unreal. Like I, I feel like I'm still that kid, that 12, 13 year old kid, you know, being able to come out here and fish for these fish. So. Oh man, it's just, it's really special. Another one, gosh. Oh, I can't see my line. Oh, he's in the cable. Oh, stay on there, baby. Stay on there, I got the pole stuck. It'd be a miracle if we get this guy in. <laughs> he's all up against the cable. All right, we got the poles up. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, that's how strong that X9 is. He's all wrapped in that cable. Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh man, look at that. I, didn't even, I don't even see any fray marks on it. That's incredible. Oh, that was so sick. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, uh, something that's really special about this bait, it's got those rattles in it. And boy, when you let it sit, that's when them biggins come up and just slurp it down just like that. I'm throwing uh, straight 30 X9, and uh, every once in a while, the front prop is sucking in the braid. So I'm gonna show you guys, you know, I wouldn't show this to everybody, but I'm, I'm gonna let you guys in on this little secret that I do. You're gonna take your normal bobber stops that you'd use for flipping, you know, you can get away with one, two, you're, you're probably not gonna have any, uh, you know, too many times it's gonna twist up. Three, you definitely won't have any line twists. I'm just gonna go with two. So I'm just gonna do a regular knot on it. But, uh, so a cool thing about this bait is that the props are cupped so that they like counter turn against each other and keeps the bait in the strike zone. But what separates this top water prop bait from the other and why it's my favorite is definitely when it's sitting still and that prop sitting still and you're pausing it but when that bait sits still it's got a bb in there and it just rocks back and forth that bb's just barely rolling and, and i'm telling you that little bit of clicking noise or whatever happens when you pause it because of that bb that's where you get those giant strikes and uh, that's what it's gonna look like right there. Got the bobber stops right in front of the line, and that just keeps that line 
from getting tangled in that front prop, just like that. You know, in general, for me, this time of year, as soon as it starts cooling off, we start getting around November, December, uh, it seems to really shine in Florida all the way up through the spawn. And, uh, you know, it's just another great bait. You can always catch fish on it. I mean, I've caught them in the middle of the summer on it and stuff. Uh, it's just a really good fish catcher. And, and surprisingly, a lot of people think this prop bait is, is all Florida, you know, down south. But man, I've gone all over the country and caught them on this thing, you know, pretty much all year round. For areas that I'm actually gonna throw this thing, I throw it everywhere. I mean, from, you know, topped out grass, throwing it in little holes, to sides of docks, uh, under docks. You know, I, I've seen <laughs> Lucas catch some giant ones under docks. I don't know how he throws it up under there, but I've watched him do it and he catches giant ones. I'm not that accurate, but if you can get it up under there, they will eat this sucker under a dock for sure. But it's just an all around, it's just an all around fish catcher, you know? Throw it near wood. Um, because if you, it's a very, it's a really good bait when you know there's fish there and they're being stubborn and they just won't eat anything else. That's when they'll usually, eat, uh, you know, top water prop bait. You're gonna mostly do most of the work with the rod, uh, especially on this on the spin rocket. You're gonna you're gonna just pull it with your rod tip uh, and pause it. That's that's pretty much my number one way to throw it. Um, you know, throughout the year. But there's there's plenty of other ways. You know, you don't have to pause it. Um, you know there's there's one way I found out a few years ago where you can throw this thing out and it's just a very slow retrieve, you know, right on the surface, a straight reel, just like that. And boy, sometimes they get on it and that's what they want. It's just a straight re retrieve. Um, and then pretty much the only other way uh, that I've, I've also worked in the past is kind of like you're out peacock fishing and you're just ripping it, reeling it, ripping it. <laughs> and uh, boy, when they're really on it, that bite can be really uh, incredible. Usually it's gotta be a little bit shallower, um, you know, and, and they'll be a little more aggressive. So, you know, I'm using the same topwater rod that I like throwing a lot of my topwaters on. It's the Abu Garcia Pro Series. This one's Justin Lucas's topwater rod. It's a 7.4 medium heavy. It's just got the perfect action for every topwater pretty much. and. Uh, it casts it far and it has a lot of backbone for when you when you got those great big ones on to get them in. I feel like I, I can really make long casts with 30 pound X9 and uh, and I always have it on a Revo rocket because of the, the, the fast reel ratio, you know, it's, re it's reeling up like 30 something inches of line per turn. So if I see a fish blow up or I need to move my bait quickly to another area, I'm able to just make a few cranks and get it in quick and uh, fire it back out there. You know, in, in general, any kind of topwater rods, you want something that's not too stiff because, you know, those treble hooks, they're not, uh, you know, super thick. I mean, if you're throwing a big uh, chopo or, 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 you know, big cane walker, you can kind of get away. Those have got a little bit bigger hooks on them, you can get away with a little bit stiffer rod. But for most of your topwater applications, you're gonna want like a medium heavy and, and definitely want something, you know, that, oh my gosh, did you see that bite? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, stay on there, baby. Oh my gosh, stay on there. Uh, oh, oh gosh, uh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> They're twins. Uh, oh man, oh, but that's what I was saying. You want that 7.4, you know, you want that little bit longer rod so that you're able to drag, you know, decent fish out of whatever they're in, over cables, whatever it might be. Oh man, see that he just came up and slurped that thing. This Fusion 19's got him. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, did you see that? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. See that cable. Oh, that was so awesome. Oh god, she's on this side. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so cool. Oh. Alright guys, well, if you liked the video, make sure you like it. If you didn't, you don't have a pulse. Man, what an awesome day. Uh, make sure you uh, enter the Bu Garcia Berkeley 
uh, giveaway. And uh, man, hopefully we'll see you guys again soon.